All right, gang, I'm here at SHOT Show 2017 at the HK booth. I've got the CSAS. This is kind of a SHOT Show mock-up CSAS. I snagged one of the guys from OSS who makes the suppressor for the CSAS. Steven Young, yes, sir. he got corralled into doing this. So he's gonna take us through this for the HK M110A1 CSAS. So the new IFM5 or CSAS model that, that we're looking at, what we've done is the, uh, the OSS suppressor before that actually was on the HK for the CSAS program was a two-piece can cantilevered over the barrel and had an SRM or a silence reduction module that attached to the end of it. Uh, through you know, communication with HK, this is the new design. It is an in-mount can, mounts to the end of the barrel on a muzzle brake or an STS. So this can is only a dB and a half louder than the, than the previous version. The, the best part about this can is it, it's, it's lighter, it's shorter, um, it still gets us under the 140 decibel threshold, which, you know, that is the, the hearing safe according to OSHA, so anything under 140 dB. The best part of this can with this weapon system is that it doesn't increase blowback, so we're not getting increased bolt velocity, we're not getting um, that gas and the propellants being blown back in the shooter's face. It's doing a couple of things for us. One, the weapon system operates exactly like HK designed it to operate. It's, uh, it's not, we're not having to modify the system. We don't have to use an adjustable gas block mm -hmm. to get the gas pressure down so that the suppressor will work properly. The weapon works just the same with the can or without the can. Um, so that was, the, that was really the biggest challenge. It's been one of the biggest challenges in suppression is making you know, our gas, either piston gun or direct impinge gun, operate as it was designed. Um, and this can does that for us. A couple questions. Is this going to be offered on the civilian market? It will. It will. Um, of course, there's, there's hurdles we've got to get through with CSAS and getting the cans that are necessary for that, but it will absolutely be offered on the civilian market, uh, including the 5.56 version, which is slightly shorter than this. And so both cans will be offered in this configuration, and all of the new OSS cans will have this bobbed off uh, end cap, you know, which saved us a half inch. Now, the other question is, is it a rebuildable can? Like, correct me if I'm wrong, your previous stuff or the older gen stuff is rebuildable, cleanable, sustainable? It is. It, it, it's rebuildable in the fact that the most important part of this can, the STS, it's going to take the most punishment. So the STS can be replaced just like any other muzzle brake. We're in the process with the ATF of working through how that's going to work for the civilian market. For the military market, of course, the whole thing's going to be um, you know, available to them and, and, and you'll be able to uh, replace parts or, or pieces inside the can as needed for a maintenance purpose. But the can, you know, as we've looked at it, has a 10,000 round lifespan with the STS. And then when you replace the STS, you basically restart the clock for another 10,000 rounds. So, um, it's, it's made to outlast the, the life of the weapon system. Good deal. Thank you, brother. Now, if people want more information on this or OSS cans in general, where do they need to go? Uh, you need to go to OS, ossuppressors.com. Most all of the information is on there. There's several videos uh, of the cans being tested um, and, and you know, proving their decreased heat, the decreased blowback, um, and all of those things that, that, that make the can unique. Good deal. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. From SHOT Show 2017, LAV out.